Alright, so this is going to be another movie review. Uh, this one's called All About My Mother. And it's a ripoff on All About Eve. Uh, there's even uh, some All About Eve clips in it. And the whole plot is basically the same as All About Eve. Um, so if you don't know what All About Eve is, it's a famous movie um, from the 40s, I think. Uh, starring Betty Davis as a uh, sort of older, washed up uh, actress. Um, she's got like a fan who follows her and around and um, and then end up taking her job. Um, something like that. Something along those lines. Um, it's a pretty good movie. Uh, I mean, um, Betty Davis is a great actress. I can't say the same about this movie, though. Um, I like Penelope, Penelope Cruz in this. Um, she's definitely hot, and um, she's only 25 in this one. I wish she would have taken off her clothes. I would have liked it more, but as it were, I give this movie one star. Um, this movie got all kinds of awards, not surprisingly. Um, because usually movies around this time, 1999, that get Academy Awards, they usually suck. Um, this one got a 2000 Academy Award for Best Foreign Language Film, 2000 Independent Spirit Award, Best Foreign Film Nominee, uh, 2000 BAFTA, Best Foreign Language Film, Best Direction, Pedro Amaldovar, I'll get back to him later. Uh, 2000 Golden Globe Award Best Foreign Language Film. Now getting back to Pedro Amaldomar, he's he's not one of my favorite directors um, in the genre of uh, European art house. Uh, I think my favorite is um, P Pierre Paso Pas Pasolini, whatever the hell his name is. The Communist Turd from Italy. He, he gets uh, my vote as best European art house director. Uh, Amaldivar is pretty good. I saw Vol Volver when it came out. Uh, I think it's in 2006. Um, I was rated R. I saw it with uh, my friend Jenny Wong in uh, Albany, I think. I think it was in Albany. Albany, California, one of these um, uh, independent theaters. I forget, I forget what they called it. Um, but um, I guess she was bored. She didn't like movies in general, other than uh, Disney movies. And um, Penelope Cruz was also in Volver. Um, that's another rated R flick. This one's rated R. And, um, I like Volver much better. Penelope Cruz had a much um, more prominent role in Volver. And the story was better, too. Um, so I gave Volver five stars when I saw it back in 2006. Uh, Bad Education was great. Uh, that, that one's rated NC-17. I give that one five stars. Um, Talk to Her was great. Rated R. Uh, five stars. All About My Mother. I hated. Rated R. 1999. I gave it one star. Um, the Flower of My Secret. I hated. Rated R. 1996. I gave it one star. Uh, what Have I Done to Deserve This? 1984. I gave it one star. And um, Dark Habits, I gave two stars. Uh, that one was a little better than some of his earlier work, but not much. Uh, 1983, not rated. Um, so I've got all these um, Maldivar flicks in my queue. I've got Life. Flesh in position 440. Uh, tie me up, tie me down, 439. Um, woman on the verge of a nervous breakdown. 
got that one on 18. Uh, Law of Desire, position 3. Matador, position 4. Um, so I've got a few of his flicks coming up on my Netflix queue very soon, like within a couple weeks. Um, I've been slow watching these because I've just been busy working in San Carlos. And when I get home, my brain is fry fried. I don't feel like watching Netflix. <coughs> but getting back to the story, it starts out with um, with a nurse um, played by Cecilia Roth. She's pretty good looking too. Um, and um, and I guess her son is like. Uh, a big time movie buff. He likes uh, plays and movies. He wants to be a writer. Um, he's sort of an artsy type dude. Kind of like um, uh, wh whoever played the, uh, the part of the fan of Betty Davis in um, All About Eve. He's kind of like that. <coughs> Oh, my son's making all kinds of noises. I guess he wants to review this movie, too. <laughs> anyway, he's excited that I'm on YouTube. Uh, my son, Mr. Aaron Parkinson. Uh, he's not in this video, but you can listen to him make noises in the background. Sorry about that. Anyway, um, uh, getting back to the story, um, this dude, he's... Um, He's following around this older Spanish actress. I guess she plays um, <laughs> Blanche um, in Streetcar called Desire. That's a great movie, by the way, in the 1950s or with uh, Marlon Brando. So it's a play that's going on in um, Madrid, I guess. So they both go watch, they're sitting down watching television, watching All About Eve, and then they go see a streetcar named Desire play um, in, um, in Madrid. And it's raining hard. Um, the dude's like falling around Blanche, like he wants her autograph, and uh, she refuses. Um, they drive off. And uh, he ends up running after the taxi and getting hit by a car. He's killed. Uh, the mother is devastated. She goes to um, Barcelona to meet a couple friends. Um, Penelope Cruz, who plays the uh, pregnant nun. And then there's a pre-op transsexual prostitute. Uh, not very attractive looking. Uh, Antonio... Antonia San Juan, I guess her name is. Oh, my son's playing cars now. Um, so they get together. They're like um, going through various tragedies. Um, the, uh, the grieving mother ends up uh, meeting Blanche again and working for her. Um, both as a personal assistant and uh, and to play Stella too in the play. Um, I guess Stella, uh, the the person who normally plays Stella, the actress, who's also hot by the way, um, she's um she's all on junk. I guess I guess she's a hardcore junkie, and so she's always getting sick. Uh, one night she's not there, so the. Um, the grieving mother plays Stella in one of the plays. She does an excellent job, um, of course, because she's Cecilia Roth and she's an act actress um, by training. But we, later on, we learn out we learn that she was actually played Stella 20 years ago in a different run of uh, Streetcar Named Desire. God, that must be the most overused cliche. <coughs> play that goes on around the world. 
Um, I'm not saying that's a bad play. Um, I enjoyed the movie. Um, I didn't really enjoy reading it in high school, but that's just me. Um, so then it turns out that uh, Penelope Cruz has AIDS. Like she's been having sex with this transvestite dude. Uh, that's highly unlikely, unless they were doing anal sex. Uh, that part isn't revealed. Uh, how how she she got transmitted uh, AIDS, but people are so ignorant about AIDS, they think you can get it transmitted through vaginal sex, uh, which is not the case. It's usually anal sex. And this gay guy, uh, Pedro Amaldivar of our Pedro Amaldivar, he thinks that you can get it through vag vaginal sex too. Apparently, uh, I could be wrong, but um, he's totally ignorant. And he's trying to play up the AIDS scare, like, um, oh, het heterosexuals get it too. Um, yeah, whatever. Um, I don't know. I, um, I just hated this movie. There's also a scene where the, the transsexual is saying, like, I, I don't want to get uh, expensive perfume because children are dying from starvation or something. Uh, that, that, that was that had to be the most idiotic line I've, I've heard in in a movie. Um, seriously, and it's no wonder that this movie got so many awards because people are stupid. If, if they think uh, that line was funny, I I don't know. I didn't think anything was funny in this. I guess it's supposed to be like a black comedy, kind of like a melancholy and uh, funny at the same time. I just wasn't getting into it. And then the um, baby is born, but Penelope Cruz dies. Um, so there's that. And then, uh, like, the parents don't want the kid around because they're afraid of getting AIDS. Uh, so it's kind of ironic that the uh, director is just as ignorant as the uh, conservative parents, so to speak. Um, Maybe I'm making too much of that, but um, I don't know. Um, like I said, I like I liked uh, Pasolini better. His movies, um, Maldivar hasn't done very many movies, or at least there aren't that many on Netflix. And um, I'm getting ready to watch Canterbury Tales. I'm I'd much rather watch a movie like that than. Um, and say all about my mother, which is a total ripoff on all about Eve. What do you think about it? Um, so Penelope Cruz dies, and um, the kid lives. Uh, the kid goes back and forth to uh, from Barcelona to Madrid. Um, he ends up mysteriously. Shaking, uh, shaking the AIDS virus. I guess uh, sort of like uh, Magic Johnson or whatever. Magic Johnson's still alive. I thought he had AIDS, but um, after a couple of years, the kid doesn't have the virus anymore. I'm not gonna spoil the ending for you. Um, I hate this movie. I gave it one star. And to all the kooky uh, socialist people who watch these kind of movies. Um, yeah, you probably enjoy this one. It's it's probably funny to you, and uh, ha ha ha, and uh, and you probably get it more than I do. But uh, European artsy movies, uh, half of them uh, I give thumbs down, uh, one star, two stars, uh, maybe three stars if I'm in a good mood, but. Uh, this one sucks. I'm sorry. Um, Pedro Amaldivar, anything prior to uh, 2002, don't even bother, man. Because all of, all of his movies, at least the ones that I've seen, they suck. I mean, um, from 2002 to 2006, that's when, um, that's when his movies start getting better. I haven't added uh, Broken Embraces or The Skin I Live In, but uh, 
uh, just because I started adding his movies back in 2006 when Volvera came out. But um, anyway, that's the end of my review. I'm done with uh, critiquing uh, Maldivar, uh, Penelope Cruz, <coughs> and this particular movie all about my mother. Sorry for the background noise. My, my son wanted to be in this vid. But uh, I just put his voice and not his uh, face in this one. So late. Have a good night.